podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. The North Carolina Biotechnology Center is at the forefront of the biotech industry. I recently sat down with the center's president and CEO, Norris Tolson, to learn more about their work and biotechnology's impact on our state's economy. Mr. Norris Tolson, welcome back to North Carolina Now. Thank you. Nice to be here. First of all, remind our viewers again about the mission of the North Carolina Biotechnology Center. Well, we are a uh, jobs creation and wealth generation operation. We are funded by the state of North Carolina to create jobs and wealth out of what comes out of the universities and research and development around biotech or life sciences, however you want to define it, Mitch. Now, as the president and CEO of the North Carolina Biotechnology Center, you have seen how biotechnology has affected the Tar Heel State. What has been the economic impact of biotechnology in the state? We, we are very proud to say that we just ran some uh, new data on what we do. One of the, as a business guy, I was very interested when I went to the center to see, are we getting a decent return on investment for the money? Because we're funded by taxpayer dollars. What our study shows is that in the 27 years we've been in existence, we have grown from no jobs in North Carolina in biotech to about 57,000 direct jobs. And when the Department of Commerce adds their multiplier to that, the numbers would suggest that we've got somewhere around 225,000 North Carolinians that earn their living from biotech, both direct and indirect. Now, having said that, let me come back and talk about those 57,000 direct jobs. Those direct jobs are manufacturing jobs, they're in plants, they're research and development jobs, but the average starting salary in the biotech world is about $75,000 a year on a plant floor. That's a pretty good job in North Carolina. Now you talk about uh, plants and other industries uh, here in the state. Is there anything available through the Biotechnology Center to perhaps help them with research? What we do, we don't do research at the Biotech Center. What we try to do is to accelerate commercialization of really good research that's already coming out of the university system. And so we, we make loans and grants. When we make a loan, we fully expect to get the money back. When we make a grant, it's obviously what it says, a grant, those are primarily to education, though. We, we grant money to, to train teachers to recruit faculty that are going to do specific kinds of research in the university system or other kinds of education projects. Um, another interesting number for you, Mitch, is we analyzed what kind of return have we gotten on that money that we've invested over the last 25 years in biotech. The Battelle data suggests, it's an independent study, Battelle data says that the biotech or the life sciences industry in North Carolina put $65 billion a year in the North Carolina's economy. Also, uh, viewers might be interested who are in the political world and the counties and the municipalities, this industry pays about $1.9 billion in state and local taxes. So it's a pretty healthy piece of our economy. Now, although the Biotechnology Center is located in Research Triangle Park, there are other regional centers, correct? We have five regional offices. What we try to do is accelerate the science that goes on around all of North Carolina. So we have an office in Asheville. We have an office in Charlotte. We're about to place somebody in Kannapolis, where the North Carolina Research Campus is located. We have an office in Greenville. We have an office in Winston-Salem. And we also have an office in Wilmington. Each of those offices have a regional director uh, with a small, uh, an admin or somebody that helps them. And what they do is they try to work with local science and technology through the university or wherever, small companies or startups, to try to grow biotech in, in outside of the Research Triangle Park area. And you've talked about the success of the North Carolina Biotechnology Center, but specifically when, when you look at the successes, which ones stand out to you? Well, we've obviously been very successful in biopharmaceuticals. All you got to do is look at GSK as a good example of that. GSK got recruited here, and GSK has helped spin out some really great other companies or other opportunity. But we're today engaged in, in nanobiotech. We're engaged in, in uh, new drug discovery biotech, natural products biotech. We're about to embark in marine biotech. 
and we've got a new thrust in agricultural biotech, which we believe, if we do it correctly, and the study that we did uh, was, would suggest, if we do ag biotech correctly, we'll add about $30 billion a year to agricultural income in North Carolina within 10 years. When you talk about uh, the biotech as, as it relates to agriculture, what are, what are you looking at specifically? Well, there's, there's such a broad area of opportunity. Animal agriculture, uh, broad acreage crops, corn, cotton, soybeans, and, and peanuts, those kind of crops, specialty crops, fruit and vegetables. Uh, everybody today is concerned about healthy living and nutrition. We see a great opportunity with the ag biotech work that we're doing in nutrition research that will create not just new crops that we can grow in North Carolina, but more nutritious crops. Uh, we've got great research going on at NC State and A&T uh, and at Duke and at Carolina, all doing things around what can we do to put to enhance nutrition and the nutritional value of foods that we already have in the state. But uh, it, it's wide open. We, we're, for example, part of our ag biotech initiative will be uh, aquaculture. We're looking at what do we do with, with the sea other than just harvest fish. And we know that there's some great opportunities there for us. So if perhaps a business or even a university or other institution of higher learning wanted to know more about the North Carolina Biotechnology Center, what do they need to do? Just contact us on our, on our web page. Come through our, it's uh, ncbiotech.org. Just contact us and we'll be back in touch or they can call me direct. I'll be glad to talk to them. Mr. Norris Tolson, President and CEO of the North Carolina Biotechnology Center. Uh, one other thing I wanted to add before we go, there's also some building going on at right. the center, correct? We were, we were out of space. We had people sitting in closets and uh, conference rooms, and so we have added 22,000 square feet to our, our building. Uh, it, we occupied that building in October. It's running very well. Our folks are very happy. But we also have a very, very aggressive conference center there. We, we have about 30,000 visitors a year to our building, so we've added some additional conference space with the new building. Mr. Norris Tolson, President and CEO of the North Carolina Biotechnology Center, thank you for stopping by and talking with us, and continued success, sir. Thank you, Mitch. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNC-TV.